Hi, I'm Stephanie. I go by StampJG here on YouTube and at my blog at StampJG.com. Thank you for joining me today. I am beginning a Christmas in July series where I will have several videos showcasing Christmas products and projects, all with the idea of helping both of us get ready for the upcoming holiday season. I don't know about you, but I know every year I run out of time, even though I know Christmas is on December 25th every year. I seem to forget or let it get away from me. So this year, I thought I would start with some products, projects here in July. Today's video is showcasing the We Are Memory Keepers Foil Quill Magnetic Mat. I know this tool was um, teased way back in July and it finally has come out. And as soon as I could get it, I purchased it from scrapbook.com. And I wanted to show this to you um, because I know there's always a little bit of hype with some We Are Memory Keepers products. And this will maybe help you decide whether or not this is something you want to add to your crafting toolkit or not. I enjoy using my electronic die cutter and I enjoy using the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill pen. And this is kind of like an add-on accessory and you don't need it to actually get good results from using the foil quill pen but it allows you to have a smoother surface to apply foil on and it also has magnets instead of tape to hold your product down. While we go through this demonstration, I am gonna be showing how to mass produce some foiled card fronts, all with the idea of helping us get ready for the upcoming holidays. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you will um, like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the um, area down below, I will get to just as many of the comments and questions as I possibly can. And I sure, inter sure enjoy interacting with all you guys. So thanks again for joining me. Please consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more videos from me. If you hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know the next time I upload a video. So without further ado, let's get over, over to the craft table and get making. So this is the We Are Memory Keepers Foil Quill Magnetic Mat. And before I actually show you this, I did want to show you something that was put on the back of the mat. It's kind of a sneak peek of something that must be coming very soon. The mat also works with the Foil Quill Freestyle Pen, which as far as I know is not out yet. This looks to be a USB powered heat pen that you can use to foil while handwriting so you don't have to do some of the crazy stuff I've done in previous videos. <laughs> so for those of you who laughed when I tried using it, the foil quill heat pen with the uh, stencils, this is going to be a real tool that we can use. So anyhow, back to our project here. So the foil quill magnetic mat is a magnetic board that comes with magnets. It has really great packaging and the mat itself is gold toned. It's a gold toned mat. It comes with four magnets, two long ones and two short ones. The long ones are about 11 inches and the short ones are about three inches. And it's smooth and flat. Um, the grid markings are one inch along the top and bottom, I mean the top and the left side, it's one inch. And on the right and bottom, it has centimeters. But the grid lines themselves are one inch. Inside the packaging, there are some more instructions. There's a piece of cardboard to keep it all straight. And I want to show you some of the um, details that come on this because this will be very, very important when you are trying to decide whether or not you want to spend your money on this product. Over here on the side, and I will try to take a picture and put it here, it is, says it is not intended for cutting. It will damage your blade. It also states that the use of the foil quill magnetic mat with some cutting machines may void the manufacturer's warranty. So if you have a newer machine, you probably do not want to use this. It also states that if your machine is older, you may be out of warranty. 
If you have any questions or concerns, please contact customer service at American Crafts. So I just wanted to point that out, that if you have a newer machine, you may not want to be using this because it may void your warranty and nobody wants that to happen. So with the mat itself, it's a very nice gold tone. It's perfectly smooth. So when you the heat tool runs over it, it will not encounter any bumps with these grid lines whatsoever. The idea is that this would work with you with your cutting mat. You place it onto your cutting mat. And as you will know, and I've shown in other videos, that one of the problems that I ran into when using foil with a sticky mat is that occasionally the foil would get out of hand and it would stick to the mat. And this is really, really hard to remove without damaging the mat. You can see up here where I scrubbed and rubbed with some water and I actually ended up taking off most of the sticky. So that's one of the downsides of using it um, foil with a sticky mat. But in this case, what the intent is to do is to use your mat with your die cutting machine and place your magnetic board, your metal board, right on top of it. And it will fit within the 12 inch boundaries. And then you will feed it into your machine this way. Again, you cannot cut on this mat at all so this will damage your blade so if you're doing a project that you're going to foil and then cut you will need to foil it take it off your board and then put your project onto your mat to die cut it so i will demonstrate that with today's project and let's get that set up okay with my silhouette cutting mat all ready to go and again this is, a, this is a brand new mat my old one got kind of wrecked so I decided to use a brand new mat I'm going to place the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill magnetic board down as straight as possible between the grid lines before I let it go and there we go so now it is on my mat and ready for my project. I am at the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software and I'm going to start a project. I wanted to show you how I set this up and to begin with, actually to begin with let me just show you where you can get some designs. This is We Are Memory Keepers website and you can download one of the USB design drives without actually purchasing the USB product. You can go to their website and design and download this. This is what I, I did earlier today. And it has the holiday edition has whimsical hand drawn images from all different kinds of holidays including Christmas and Hanukkah and Thanksgiving. Um, Halloween, winter, it's got a bunch of different stuff. So this is, these are where I'm going to be getting my uh, images for, for today's project. At the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software, I have set up my mat. It's a 12 inch Silhouette Studio mat. And my piece of paper here is eight and a half by 11. I'm going to take some of the images that I downloaded from this We Are Memory Keepers website. You can see I've put them over here in my library all according to their um, with a file folder for each of the holidays. And in the Christmas folder I have several items that I'm just going to click and drag over onto my work surface. And this one and then I'm done with my library. Okay, let me make this a little brighter so we can see it. And to begin with, I'm going to be creating card fronts. So I want to set up a little workspace that will be the size of my card front. So I'm drawing a rectangle and then I'm going to go up and set the width to three and three quarters and the height to five inches and that way my rectangle will be the size of my card front. 
and I can size all of my images to fit on that card front. So let me play with this a little bit. I'm going to just click and drag to resize each of the elements. I have set up my project the way I want it to look and I am going to group all of my elements together here. Actually I need to add in this little holly here and that way I'm going to group those together. That way I can move it around my sheet the way I want it to go. I'm going to rotate my orientation to landscape and then I'm going to select everything here and I'm going to paste it over. So you can see this way I can do several projects at one time. When you're doing this for your own projects you certainly can make them smaller or larger. You could put four to a page if you wanted to. There's any number of ways of doing this but for the purposes of demonstration I'm going to show two of them being done at one time. So here is the project all set up. Two copies of my project on my design space here and depending upon the project that you come up with you certainly could do more. Um, if you were going to do you know just a sentiment or just some holly or just a couple of elements you could fill an entire page and foil them all at once. That's one of the cool things about having a digital die cut machine. I am going to go over to my Silhouette Cameo and get the project set up on the cutting mat. I am working with an 8.5 by 11 sheet of craft cardstock and I am going to orient it up in the top left hand corner. This is how my um, project is set up in the software and this will allow me to both foil and die cut this as you'll see later. So if you have it in the same location you won't be fiddling it with it later trying to figure out um, where to put it when you have to take it off the magnetic board and put it on your mat to cut. So again I'm, I'm orienting my paper the same way I have it in the software and I'm just letting it sit on top of the mat. I also have taken note of where my project starts and stops on the mat in the software so that I can cut a piece of foil that is big enough for it. My recommendation is to have, especially if you're using a full sheet of paper, is to have the larger foil from We Are Memory Keepers. They sell 12 inch by like five feet or something worth of foil in a tube and that would make this much easier. I just was not able to get any at this point so I'm trying to finagle it with a smaller piece of foil but the more foil you have, the more you'll be able to cover this and cut more projects at the same time, which will allow you to mass produce. Then I'm going to put the smaller magnets here on the bottom. And you'll note that I left the top free of magnets from one inch down and all the way across the top. This allows the um, cutting head or the foiling head, the sketch pen head of your die cut machine to enter the project area and not have to worry about running over magnets. The magnets have just a little tiny bit of depth to them so it could interfere with the movement of your um, die cut machine if you have it too far up at the top. So I have this all ready to go and we're going to feed it into the silhouette and start seeing what happens when we foil this. The We Are Memory Keepers foil quill pen is a set of three pens that are USB activated, they heat up with USB heat, and they are three different sizes. You have the very fine size, the medium or standard point, and a broad point. For today's project I am going to use the broad point. It allows you to use a little bit more foil on your project. For my source of power, I am using a cell phone adapter. This is a battery powered adapter. 
for your cell phone. And once it's plugged in, you can tell it's heating up because the light goes on on the back of the machine, of the tool. I'm also using one of the four adapters that come with these to fit my specific die cut machine. So I have a Silhouette Cameo, I need adapter A, and there are three other adapters that come with this kit, the starter kit, or any of the pens that will fit most of the die cut machines on the market. And so I'm going to set this in tool two. For some reason, I just seem to like putting it in the blue tool. You can choose either one, it does not matter. And then I let it heat up for five minutes before it's ready to use. Back over at the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software, I'm getting ready to send this project to my die cut machine. You'll note that I have it on my mat already. I've kind of put them in closer together and I'm at the send window. I am not going to be using tool two, so I'm going to go ahead and close that up. I am going to be using, I mean, I'm not going to be using tool one. I'm going to be using tool two. And you'll note that this wants to, um, defaults to um, sketching or cutting everything on the screen. So we're going to need to choose what we want to go first. First of all, instead of cutting, I'm going to set the action on my machine to sketch. The second thing I'm going to do is change it from sketch pen to pen holder. And I'm not sure that makes a huge difference, but I know I'm not using a sketch pen. Now I need to choose what part of my surface I want to go ahead and sketch first or apply heat to with the heat pen. I am going to start clicking on the items I don't want to sketch first. To, so to begin with, oh, hold on. I, um, to begin with, I need to ungroup everything. That way, um, okay. That way, I can just choose the items that I want to sketch first. So to begin with, I am just going to sketch, let me, I'm going to select everything first that I'm not sketching, okay? And then I'm gonna choose the one item that I am gonna sketch. So in this case, I am going to make my sentiment gold. So I have just the sentiment selected now and set to sketch. Everything else is grayed out and it's not going to do anything. I like to decrease the speed. I don't know that this does or doesn't do anything. I just, I always feel a little bit better if it goes slower. So uh, let me just leave it at eight. So this is ready for here to send. I'm going to go load the mat with the magnetic mat on it and my project into the Silhouette die cut machine and then I will hit send. Okay, my tool has been heating up for about five minutes. I have my project ready to send to the Silhouette. I have my mat and my project all prepped and now I'm going to feed this into the machine. Lining it up at the guidelines. The other thing you have to take note of here is where your rollers are. This secondary roller here is set inside so that I don't have to worry about it hitting the magnetic mat or the magnetic strips on this. It's too high for this to go over. So that is one other consideration you have when you're working with this is that your magnetic strips holding down your project have to be in an area that your roller for your machine is not going to interfere. So I'm going to go ahead and load. And then I'm going to go hit send over on the computer.
Okay, let's see what this looks like. And I am so sorry this is dark. I am not sure why my lighting is so strange, but you can see that it transferred the foil. to my project. And I will show this at the very end so that we can see it clearer. The one thing that I will note is that I will move the roller over a little bit more next time outside of the work area because it did leave a track onto my project. But other than that, the foil transferred very nicely. Okay, I am setting up my next color. And I know it's going to be the candy cane. It's going to be up in this top corner of my project. And again, this is where one piece of large foil would come in handy, but I don't have it. To set these so that they don't interfere with the head coming in and working up in this area. I am going to actually use just a little bit of tape and you wouldn't need this if you had a large enough piece of foil. I'm just going to use a very small piece up here. Now it's ready to do just the candy canes up in the corner. I don't have red foil, so I'm going to use hot pink. And then I'm going to go back over to the Silhouette software and set select just the candy cane to print at this point, or to, to sketch with heat, the heat tool at this point. Back at the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software, I need to set it up so that the next pass through the machine, I can foil just the candy canes. So I am going to go ahead and select and click on no sketch for the sentiment for each one of these. So now nothing on my screen is set to sketch. And then I'm going to choose just the candy cane to sketch. And with these selected, I'm going to go ahead and send it through the machine. Okay, so the candy canes are done. And I'm going to save this foil because I'm going to need it for the holly berries. And I'm going to use a piece of green. for the holly leaves. And because I'm not using a full sheet of foil, like I, if I had a larger sheet I could, I am going to use tape again. And then I'm going to go back to the Silhouette Studio software and select just the leaves to foil this round.
Okay, now that the candy cane has been done, I want to go ahead and unselect it and set it to no sketch. And then I'm going to come down to the holly leaves and ungroup it. That way, I can just select just the leaves to sketch. Come back over here. Whoops, I got a berry. And go ahead and set just the leaves to sketch. Now that those are set to sketch and I've got my project set up over at the Cameo, I am going to go ahead and send this over. So now that the leaves are done, I am going to do just the berries in the same pink I did the candy cane. And I have, oh see, uh, this is what happens, I don't know if you can see it, this is what happens when your magnets are in the way. But I have just enough foil to reach across the whole project. So this should make it a little bit easier. And I don't really need this. Now I'm going to select just the berries and we'll send it through one final time for the foiling part. Okay, for the last pass for the foiling, I want to go ahead and just select the berries. And I'm going to, whoops, undo. Let me go ahead and select the leaves and set those to no sketch. Oops, undo. Undo is your friend. Let's set those to no sketch. Now what I do want to sketch are these berries. So I'm going to select each one of them. And this way the heat tool will pass over the foil and get just the berries this round. There. So I'm going to go ahead and send this to the Cameo. Okay, now that we have foiled everything on our project, I'm going to go ahead and remove my project from the magnetic board. And you can see where I ran into some interference from the magnet over on this side. That was user error on my part. And I'm going to peel off the board. Because you cannot cut on the magnetic board, you need to take the board off your silhouette mat before you go ahead and cut your project. And since I know that in my software my project is set up to the top and left hand side, this is where I'm going to place my piece of paper onto the cutting mat. And this will allow me to cut out the card fronts without any problems. So I'm all set. I'm going to come back to the Cameo and it is fitted with the cutting tool in A. I like it in the red one. I'm going to move my roller back to the correct position and lock it. And then I'm going to load my project into the machine. Now we'll go back over to the software and select what we want to cut. 
Okay, now I'm ready to cut my project. So first let's go ahead and select everything and uh, set it to no sketch. And then change the tool to tool one, which is where I have put my cutting blade. The only thing I want to cut on my project is the outside edge because I've made a card front. Again, it was three and a quarter by five inches. And so I've got the project set up on my cutting mat. I have set my materials to heavy cardstock. I'm going to set it to cut using the auto blade is what I've got in there now. And I'm going to let it, um, I think I only need one pass. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave all the settings the way they are, except for I want it to go one pass, not two. And I'm going to go ahead and send it to the cutting machine. which means I will need some strong adhesive when I go put these down on my card front. Okay, the silhouette portion of this is over. Let's go ahead and turn these into cards. The other thing I want to note is that on this one, the magnet interfered with the foiling. So that was user error on my part. And again, I was using a piece of foil that was too small. So please take that as a um, learning exercise. So I am not going to attach this to a card front, but I did want to show you how it came out on craft. And then here's the one that I will actually foil. Let me turn it sideways. I'm trying to get really close here. And it was a little bit of work going back and forth between the software and the die cut machine and setting up the foil, but the results are really amazing. And again, if you had larger foil, you could do multiples of these at one time and knock them all out in one afternoon. So I have a piece of green cardstock that coordinates with this. I have cut it to four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to attach my card front. Okay. So here I have a foiled card front that I could mass produce and send out to a bunch of people. Thank you for joining me today as we took a look at the We Are Memory Keepers Foil Quill Magnetic Mat. I am excited to use this product a little bit more and to get some foil that will help me do multiple projects at one time. I am also looking forward to the freestyle pen whenever that might come out, so I hope you will stay tuned. I will leave links in the description below to the products and tools I used today, as well as to the video I did showing how to use the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill pen. So thank you so much, have fun, and I'll see you in another video real soon.